Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are doing well. With an intention that the children do not miss their studies during the pandemic, Xavier's has reshaped its pattern of education by providing e-classes to their students. So, welcome to Xavier's e-classes. Children, this year is very important for you as you will be appearing for your board exams. And it's rightly said, well begun is half done. So in today's e-classes, I will teach you the very first chapter of science, that is chemical reaction and equation. But before we start, I would suggest you to please open your textbooks and sit with it and keep marking the important points which I ask you while I take the class. So let's start. Chapter 1, Chemical Reactions and Equations. Just think of this daily situation in your life. Milk is left at room temperature during summer. When iron nail is exposed to humid atmosphere, grapes get fermented. We respire and what happens when food gets digested in our body? Here are some of the examples of chemical reaction in our daily life. Cooking of food is also a chemical reaction. The process of respiration is also a chemical reaction. The other examples are rusting. What is rusting? When iron reacts with oxygen in presence of water, it forms iron oxide. And this oxide of iron is known as rust. During rainy season, children you would have seen many of the iron tools develop a reddish color outer covering over it. A layer is formed. This layer is nothing but is the rust, that is iron oxide. Another example is formation of curd from milk. Conversion of milk into curd is nothing but a chemical reaction. So how do we come to know? whether a chemical reaction has taken place or not. These are some of the observations one can make. During a chemical reaction, there may be a change in the state of matter. When I say state of matter means what? It can change from solid to liquid or liquid to gas. There can be a change in the color of the substance. During a chemical reaction, evolution of gas can take place. There can also be a change in temperature. So, what is a chemical reaction? The change of one or more substance into other substances having different composition and properties is called a chemical reaction. For example, carbon when reacts with oxygen, carbon dioxide gas is formed. Here the properties of carbon and oxygen are different, whereas the compound formed carbon dioxide also has properties which are different than carbon and oxygen. Another reaction is when hydrogen reacts with oxygen, H2O, that is water, is formed. In a chemical reaction, the substances which react together are called reactants, whereas the new substances that are formed during a chemical reaction are known as products. I repeat, the substances which react here, carbon and oxygen are the reactants, whereas carbon dioxide is a product. Similarly, in the second reaction, hydrogen and oxygen are the reactants and water which is formed during the reaction is the product. This chapter consists of two parts. 
the first part is balancing a chemical reaction or a chemical equation the second part is the types of chemical reactions in today's session i will take up first the types of chemical reactions so we have different types of chemical reactions the first type of reaction is combination reaction then we have the decomposition reaction displacement reaction double displacement reaction and last oxidation and reduction reaction so what is a combination reaction in combination reaction two or more substances combine to form a new substance for example over here when carbon reacts with oxygen carbon dioxide gas is formed so combination reaction is nothing but the addition reaction hydrogen gas reacts with or combines with oxygen water is formed you have few more examples of combination reaction in the textbook so do refer equation 1.13 1.17 and 1.18 Activity 1.4 Formation of slaked lime As you can see here in the figure In a beaker filled with water When calcium oxide is added to it Calcium oxide reacts with water To form calcium hydroxide Please see the formula of calcium oxide The molecular formula of calcium oxide is CaO Calcium oxide when reacts with water Calcium hydroxide that is CaOH twice is formed Children, please note here that calcium oxide is also known as quick lime and calcium hydroxide is known as slaked lime Few more examples of combination reaction. Hydrogen gas plus chlorine gas gives you hydrogen chloride. Magnesium combines with chlorine to give magnesium chloride. Iron combines with sulfur to give iron sulfide. Magnesium oxide combines with water to give you magnesium hydroxide. During a chemical reaction, either the heat is released or heat is absorbed. Based on this, chemical reactions are classified into two, exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction. So what is an exothermic reaction? A chemical reaction in which heat is released along with the formation of products is known as exothermic reaction. Two important examples of exothermic reaction are first one, burning of natural gas. Children, do you know what is natural gas? Natural gas is nothing else but the cooking gas that we use at home for cooking food. Natural gas is known as methane and its chemical formula is CH4. Methane when burns in air, that is in the presence of oxygen, carbon dioxide is formed and energy is released. So it is an example of exothermic reaction. Another important reaction is respiration reaction. What is respiration reaction? When glucose which is present in the cell reacts with oxygen which is in the air which we inhale during the respiration process glucose combines with oxygen produces carbon dioxide which is exhaled and water vapor and ATP what is ATP? ATP is adenosine triphosphate it is an energy molecule endothermic reaction the chemical reaction in which heat is absorbed 
along with the formation of products is known as endo. You see in these two pictures, the first one, exothermic reaction where the heat is given out, that is released. And in another picture, you can see that the heat is absorbed. After combination reaction, the second type of reaction is decomposition reaction. The word decompose means breaking down. So in a decomposition reaction, a single compound breaks down to produce two or more similar substances. The decomposition reaction takes place when energy is supplied in the form of either heat, electricity or light. Now depending upon the type of energy is used for decomposition, it is again classified into three different types. These are some of the examples of decomposition reaction. So which are the different types of decomposition reaction? The first one is thermal decomposition reaction. Now thermal means what? Heat. So decomposition which is caused by giving heat energy is known as thermal decomposition reaction. The second type of decomposition is electrolytic decomposition which is also known as electrolysis. Now, electrolytic means electricity. So the decomposition which is caused by passing electricity is known as electrolytic decomposition. The third type of decomposition is photo decomposition reaction. Now, the word photo means light. So decomposition which takes place in presence of light is known as photo decomposition reaction. Let us see some of the examples of thermal decomposition. A very common and an important example is decomposition of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, when it is heated, decomposes to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas is released. In both these pictures below you can see is calcium carbonate which is also known as limestone. Children, do you know limestone is used to make chalk? And it is also used in manufacturing of cement. Activity 1.6 in your textbook is thermal decomposition of lead nitrate. As you can see here in the picture, in a test tube, when lead nitrate is heated, lead nitrate decomposes to lead oxide and nitrogen dioxide gas is released. Lead nitrate, the molecular formula is PbNO3 whole twice and lead oxide is PbO. Please remember these formulas, these are very important. The next type of decomposition is electrolysis. What does electrolysis mean? Decomposition which takes place by passing electric current. So here, yeah, for example, when electric current is passed through water, it breaks down or decomposes into H2, that is hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Below activity 1.7, you can see here the figure of electrolysis process. This is a plastic mug or a jug in which two electrodes are fixed and it's connected to a battery of 6 volt. Now when current passes, water molecules decompose into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Few more examples here. These are examples of decomposition reaction. The first one, zinc carbonate decomposes to give you zinc oxide and CO2. So then you will always see whenever carbonate compounds break or decompose, carbon dioxide gas is released or evolved. Similarly here, calcium carbonate also gives you carbon dioxide. 
Please note down all these examples in your notebook. Next decomposition is photochemical decomposition. And the word photo as I told you means light. So when substance decomposes in the presence of light, sunlight, it is called photochemical decomposition. For example, silver bromide, AGBR, in presence of sunlight, breaks down or decomposes into silver and bromine gas is released. Children, this equation is not balanced. Please refer your textbook and write a balanced equation. Silver chloride decomposes to give silver and chlorine gas is evolved. Whatever you have learned in today's session, based on it, you have to do this assignments. Page number 10 in your textbook, there is an index question box. And these questions you have to write in your notebook. I've also given you the solution of the questions in case if you don't know. Behind the text, that is at the end of the chapter, the textual exercise is given and from there, children, you have to do question number 9, 10, 11 and 12. You have to write all these questions in your notebook. So that's all for today's session. Keep revising. Whatever is taught, do complete your notes and do your work regularly. Why? Because success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Goodbye. See you.